In today's environment, there are a lot of distractions. With the development of technology, we spend countless hours online browsing material or having time-wasting chats. We still feel short on time despite using time management software. Distractions also prevent us from focusing, despite the fact that we need them to escape our hectic life. Ironically, despite all of this noise, there are more opportunities now than there have ever been. Many people, however, lack the clarity necessary to seize these opportunities because they lack the mental capacity to do so. Enter Monk Mode, a technique that can be used to shape one's mental surroundings and make one more effective in this opportunity-rich setting. This video will provide a thorough explanation of Monk Mode and show you how to use it to cut through life's illusions and achieve whatever goals or ambitions you have in mind. What is Monk Mode? Looking at the current state of the modern world, it is clear that the fundamental dysfunction of humans has endangered not only personal relationships but also the survival of the planet as a whole. Although the human mind has always had dark corners, technology has greatly accentuated and revealed this dysfunction because so many people utilize it carelessly. Unfortunately, this behavior comes at a cost to the individual. Millions of people, magnified on a macro level, are incapable of deftly navigating the outside world. They lack the socialization required to utilize the many resources in contemporary society as opposed to relying on them. One method for beginning this socialization is in monk mode. It is the pinnacle of mind control. Therefore, Mastering the monk mode tactics will help you gain a better knowledge of how to get there if you want to finish or come closer to any certain goal. The monk mode exercise is designed to help you become a better version of yourself by aiding in the development of a clearer mind. The monk mode basics. In order to achieve high levels of mental clarity and productivity, monk mode attempts to take one's attention, which is often directed outward. With this inside focus, it is simple to spot compulsive or mindlessness patterns, things that are overlooked in the chaos of everyday living. This is the goal of real monks and contemplatives who spend years sequestered in monasteries. We'll be incorporating this introspection technique into our daily lives. In general, monk mode is focused on the following five goals. 1. Increasing serenity. 2. Boosting production and productivity. 3. Increasing awareness of oneself. 4. Lowering mental turbulence. 5. Laying the groundwork for long-lasting good behaviors. When considered as a totality, this hones the discursive mind and transforms a person into a tool that can cut through life with judgment rather than the usual dullness of reactivity and unconsciousness. There are three types of monk mode. 1. Complete isolation. In this mode, you virtually isolate yourself from society and become a hermit. Without relocating to the country or joining some sort of monastery, it is practically hard to accomplish this. If you're watching this, I have a hunch that you only desire the advantages that living a monastic lifestyle entails rather than becoming a monk yourself. 2. Rhythmic. This entails times of almost full seclusion from pursuits that are extremely stimulating or do not advance one's life. 3. Engaged selectivity. This person selectively engages with numerous worldly items and traditions, either foregoing them totally or using shrewdness in their interactions with them. How to do monk mode. It should be clear by this time that living in monk mode is a deliberate choice. As a result, there are some activities you ought to avoid. Everybody has a separate life and set of circumstances. Some people are able to avoid certain things while others are unable to. For instance, if you're in a relationship of any kind, your significant other will be furious with you if you don't share any intimacy. The same is true if your line of work involves sales. It is virtually difficult to isolate yourself from society. There are, however, 
Some activities you should definitely engage in at this period and others you should definitely avoid. On the monk mode journey, the items in bold are a must. Be sure to adhere to these if you plan to practice monk mode in any way. Stay away from Maximum of 30 minutes per day on all platforms for social media use internet surfing without purpose junk food and calorie-free food sweets, candies, and salty foods any form of sexual enjoyment, whenever possible, complete abstinence drugs, alcohol, or other intoxicants checking smartphones infrequently, while waiting in line, when bored, etc. Conversations that are pointless just to be conversations. Take part in 30 minutes minimum every day of meditation or mindfulness. Acquiring books. Getting in good physical shape through exercises like cardio and strength training. Working intensively on key projects. Learning based on skills aims to improve status in life. Completing pending work that has been repeatedly put off until tomorrow. How to implement monk mode techniques. Duration. You are in control of how long you wish to remain in monk mode. When implemented for a minimum of one to three months, the best outcomes are evident. Decide on your depth. Relative social isolation is typical when in monk mode. Your social circle will shrink if you cut back on the number of pointless discussions you engage in, the number of times per day or per week that you check social media, and even if you decide to focus on a project at home rather than going out. That is how it is supposed to be. Being a relative recluse for more than a month will probably be challenging for someone with a lot of social contacts, whether in person or online, so you'll need to make up for it in other ways. If you want to socialize and go out with friends, you might have to give up Netflix and the internet at home. You must practice being at ease with yourself and your thoughts if you hope to reap the greatest rewards. Social engagement levels are negotiable. Exploring your innermost self is not. Consider yourself in light of normal things. In order to develop a more self-aware relationship with exciting and mindless activities, monk mode actively banishes them for a while. Monk mode looks closely at items that people in contemporary culture believe to be normal behaviors. Drinking, enjoying oneself sexually, using social media, and idle conversation are a few examples of things that have a high threshold for compulsion. These things frequently provide quick fixes for feeling good while avoiding more in-depth exploration of thoughts and emotions. Even as your life settles back into a more regular rhythm, you should avoid anything that provides quick satisfaction for little initial investment. A Perspective on Monk Mode James Clear's Atomic Habits is a useful foundation for implementing monk mode. In it, he lays out guidelines for forming good habits and breaking negative ones. Good habits must be obvious, attractive, easy, satisfying negative habits must be invisible, unattractive, difficult, unsatisfying, install a filter on your computer and delete the applications from your phone if you want to spend less time, or even none at all, on social media. This keeps it hidden, out of sight, and most importantly, out of reach. Start with five minutes at the end of the day and increase it if you wish to meditate more. This makes achieving that goal simple to execute, enjoyable, and fulfilling. Get rid of all the clutter in your fridge and closet if you want to eat less junk food. Purchase some wholesome food while you're out. You aim to close the gap between constructive behaviors and raise friction between destructive behaviors. Is it a panacea? No. But it doesn't take a scientist to understand that engaging in the activity and issue will require little to no conscious effort if there isn't a barrier between you and it. You have a chance to act thoughtfully at least with these band-aid solutions. When you instantly reward yourself for good conduct, you increase the likelihood that it will occur again. 
The likelihood that a negative behavior will recur is reduced when you penalize yourself right away. People prefer instantaneous feedback. Using your biology in this way will help you, not hurt you. Similarly, monk mode can benefit immensely from environment design. You can actively create your environment by incorporating minimalist principles. Due to this, doing the right thing may be simpler than doing the wrong thing. What the monk mode schedule? You should include anything in your daily agenda that advances the following goals. 1. Inner peace. 2. You have a definite objective. 3. Decrease in compulsive behavior. In monk mode, your schedule may appear quite sterile and devoid, but this is where you fill in the blanks with your own inner meaning. Physical and mental craving. Most people who switch into monk mode experience irritation in their bodies and minds. This has a physical component. Our normal baseline for stimulation has changed as a result of the modern world, and the body now craves high amounts of stimulus. The second component is mental. Usually, in the absence of distraction, background mental chatter emerges during moments of relative silence. Realizing that you are not your thoughts, feelings, or emotions, and that you are not this craving, is a key component of the meditation practice. If used correctly, monk mode will enable you to have this experience. The only option is to endure these cravings till they go away. A part of you, levels up, if and when you manage to stifle the impulse to check social media or sit in front of the TV for hours. You toughen up mentally. Speculation and reflection. The mind begins to form thought loops when it is not engaged in stimulating tasks and is not schooled in silence. These loops in the mind can involve reliving the past, daydreaming, or projecting events from the future or other people's thoughts or intentions. When you are not accustomed to exerting mental effort, it is simple to get bored while reading a book or practicing meditation. Once more, you'll feel the temptation to watch YouTube or do something else digitally stimulating. You will need to persevere through this, especially during the first several weeks as your new baseline is formed. The Advantages of the Monk Mode When I first used Monk Mode, I saw the following advantages. Higher level of mental clarity. Increased discerning. More concentration and assurance. A diminished desire for quick hit stimulation. Increased human compassion. Increase in the urge for social connections. Conclusion. Monk mode is for you if your life is too full of obligations, compulsions, and mental clutter. You'll be able to distinguish between illusion and reality and concentrate on what matters most while you're still alive. It is possible to achieve inner calm, improve mental clarity, and increase productivity by going into monk mode. The finest outcomes occur after one month, while it can be done for a variety of times. Mental irritation will initially be the largest problem, but you must persevere. By emphasizing the advantages of the task, you want to make monk mode as appealing as possible. Your existing lifestyle's shortcomings will be brought to light by this exercise, along with potential fixes.